What's that? I'm not close enough to them to need a, a mask? Oh, oh okay. <sighs> Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Friday. My name is Father Sam Kachuba. We've come now to the great feast of Pentecost. This is the time of the church. This is when the Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles, upon the Blessed Mother, upon the other disciples, and sends them out on mission to proclaim the good news, to proclaim the gospel, to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost marks for the church a whole new chapter. And I don't say necessarily a beginning, because we can make the theological case that from the moment that Jesus called the apostles together, he was calling together the church, and so the church already existed but really, we see here a new, a new moment in the life of the church, sent out to proclaim the gospel. Now, the truth is that Pentecost, and that time from Pentecost on, the church's mission has never ceased. So in other words, it wasn't just a one-time occasion. It wasn't just an event where, oh, the apostles went out and they're sent out to proclaim the gospel. No, we read again and again in the Acts of the Apostles about how when the apostles went and prayed, how when they proclaimed the gospel, people received it with faith, with joy. When they were baptized, the Holy Spirit fell upon them. How they were able to cure and to, to do all these great things in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit at work within them. Well, so it is for us as a church, even here and now. We have the power of the Holy Spirit with us still, and we are able to bring that power to bear on the world. We are able to bring the power of the Holy Spirit into everything that we do. So this time from Pentecost on is not just meant as a liturgical moment. It's not just meant as a past historical occasion. No, on the contrary, this is the time now when the Lord sends the Holy Spirit on us, even today, and wants us to go out proclaiming the good news of the gospel. Now, we can't necessarily go face-to-face -face with people right now. That's why we have masks and all this other stuff. And yet, nevertheless, we are being called to proclaim the good news of the gospel. We are being called to evangelize, to share the good news of our faith. Have you ever at any time seen more masses that are available digitally? Have you ever at any time in your life seen more availability of holy things, of the gospel message, especially on social media? No. At no time has the church been more present than right now. We are able to reach people in ways that we never reached them before. So I want to encourage you to do something. If you're watching Mass online, if you're streaming Mass on social media, share that Mass with other people, with your friends. Make it something that other people can see. Take that as one way that you can share the good news of the gospel with other people in a way that's very gentle, in a way that's very inviting. We always encourage people to invite their friends, their neighbors to Mass. This is a great way to invite your friends and your neighbors to Mass. But most of all, in this time, as we receive the power of the Holy Spirit, let's remember that the Holy Spirit did not just come once many, many years ago, but that the Holy Spirit desires to renew his presence in your heart and in mine each and every day. God bless you.